Pharmacies are at risk of closing here at, at present. We are looking at that happening within a matter of weeks, uh, certainly no more than a couple of months. Uh, and I think that what pharmacies have been trying to do is to, to utilise uh, private funding from family members. People are cashing in pensions, remortgaging houses and so forth. That is only sustainable for so long. Uh, the fear would be that uh, once uh, the first pharmacy closes, that there could be a snowball effect. And that's not good for the public in Northern Ireland. It's not good for the health service in Northern Ireland. And it's not good for the profession of pharmacy. And um, what kind of numbers are you talking about? How many pharmacies might close? I think it's hard to say at this stage, uh, but a 20% reduction in funding is not sustainable uh, across the network. Um, it doesn't matter whether you're a small pharmacy or a large pharmacy, just with the nature of the funding cuts, this is going to bring about uh, closures. They're going to be indiscriminate and they're going to be uh, across Northern Ireland uh, with, in an uncontrolled manner. And that's not good, as I said, for the public or for the service or for the, or the, the, the health service. We have had 12 months at least now of sustained funding reductions that have seen a reduction in uh, the funding to community pharmacies of, of some 20%. When you couple that with increased workload and also increased costs to pharmacy owners for the provision of those services, it's simply an unsustainable and unworkable situation. Pharmacies have uh, had to refinance arrangements with uh, banks and wholesalers. That is only possible for so long and we very much fear that within a very short period of time uh, pharmacies will start to close and that will impact on patients in Northern Ireland. Community pharmacy in Northern Ireland is at a crisis position at the minute. This follows on from several years of uh, the absence of a pharmacy contract and stable funding that a contract would bring. Uh, this has accelerated and deteriorated within this last 12 months with the funding changes seen with the drug tariff but then also some funding reductions and changes uh, in the funding model in Northern Ireland. That has resulted in a somewhat, at least a £20 million deficit in the funding this year compared with last year. And at a level of funding for pharmacy service somewhere in the region of £130 million is required. Couple that with the workforce crisis and the workload pressures, and we have a situation where there are severe pressures on community pharmacists and contractors in Northern Ireland. Contractors are having difficulties with meeting wholesaler and banking obligations and many are reporting financial instability and, and difficulties for pharmacists on the ground. Uh, the pressure within the community pharmacies are such that services to patients now are being really tested and with work practices uh, starting to get to the point whereby it's, it's going beyond the point of safe service provision. This is a situation we don't want to see happening. We have been working with the department and board to try and reach a resolution, but so far the department have not come forward with a workable solution of any description. Um, we had a contractor meeting at the start of October where we outlined the situation to contractors and we feel that over the next number of weeks and months that contractors are going to start reviewing what they're in a position to be able to continue to provide to patients going forward. We have cross-political support, cross-party support and strategic policy direction for the new contract, for funding and indeed the funding of the pharmacy services in Northern Ireland has been recognised by the courts as having to be informed by the cost of service and the other investigations. So the onus is really on the Department of Health and Board to, to, re to reach a settlement with Community Pharmacy and I. Uh, very quickly here so that safe services to the public can be maintained and protected going forward.